Hello everyone, MarshTuggy13 here with another hotel review and this week we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico to attend the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta and it is notoriously difficult to find hotel availability during this two week period. I usually stay near the airport and this year is no exception as I am at the Hilton Garden Inn Albuquerque Airport. So let's say we check out the room. And we're in a standard king room on the fourth floor, which I believe is the top floor of the hotel. We're in room 422. And you can tell at first glance this room has some definite western style accents. But let's begin our tour just to the right of the door as you enter at the closet. One gains access to the closet via sliding mirror covered doors. And inside the closet, there are eight wooden high-quality hangers, above which there sits some supplemental bedding, and an iron and ironing board, which is fairly standard, and a stand for your luggage, which I'm not currently using. There are also some laundry bags and evidence of some sort of laundry service. One thing that I believe is conspicuously missing from this closet would be a room safe for your valuables. And I certainly have a lot of valuables with me. I did read something in the guest services guide that indicated the availability of some sort of safety deposit boxes at the front desk. However, I would doubt they would be enough to accommodate what I typically place in the room safe which is a lot of electronics equipment including a, an iPad, a tablet computer, and a lot of camera equipment. Now on the left as you enter the room is the bathroom which appears small but clean and practical. There is a combination shower tub with a metal bar for you to hold on to as you enter and a couple of soap dishes plenty of towels this room has Neutrogena bath amenities there is a toilet with a very powerful flushing mechanism some paper cups a single basin and faucet and more Neutrogena amenities, including a shower cap, there's a shoe mitt, and some sort of moist towelette, as well as a wall-mounted hairdryer. As you exit the bathroom, there is an amenity bar of sorts, which has a microwave, Looks like it's been freshly cleaned. A Keurig coffee maker with some complimentary, I assume they're complimentary, K-cups, including tea and coffee with sugar and coffee cups with lids in case you're making coffee on the go in the morning. There are two, once again, I assume complimentary purified bottled water and an ice bucket and the ice machine is located just uh, outside of the elevators down the hall and there's a relatively large refrigerator it doesn't appear to have a freezer as many of these mini fridges do and this one feels at least like it is cooling it doesn't feel terribly cold but you can adjust the temperature there on the inside and there's some additional storage space this cabinet looks like it may have housed or have been intended to house a trash can at some point but now I suppose it just serves as additional storage space now let's enter the main living area and we'll start with the king size bed. Pillows are definitely large and plentiful. The bed 
is, I would say, definitely on the firm side. In fact, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being as stiff as a wooden board, I would say this is about an 8, if that gives you any indication. There is a wall-mounted temperature gauge. You can cool, you can heat, you can turn it on and off. And what that actually activates is this uh, floor model air conditioning unit just beneath the window, which would normally have its own temperature control system, but in this case it is controlled by this uh, wall-mounted gauge by the bed. And the bed, of course, has side tables and uh, some very nice looking lamps. A little bit of art as well. Doesn't look to be particularly Albuquerque or New Mexico themed. One of the, the nice things about the base of the lamp is that it contains a couple of power outlets, including one uh, uh, for USB. And there's, of course, an alarm clock, a very small and simple one. Simple is probably good. And inside the drawer, we find a Gideon Bible. And then at the foot of the bed, we have a chest of drawers. And these drawers aren't particularly tall, but as you can see, they are certainly wide and relatively deep and there is space in all three of them. None of them are fake drawers. And there's also a little ledge that sits atop the three drawers. And above that, of course, is the television. And this looks like a good, maybe 40 inch LG LCD television. Looks like it carries DirecTV and even HBO. So I look forward to checking that out a bit later. To the right side of the bed is the accompanying nightstand, which is much like the first one we saw, except this is where the phone is located. And with this phone, you can instantly contact with these preset buttons. The front desk, you can check out, check your voicemail. There's also a room service button. So we'll be examining the menu for that service a bit later. Inside this drawer, Instead of a Gideon Bible, you have the real yellow pages, which is not something I've seen in quite some time. Blast from the past. Overall, I would say that the furnishings in this room are very nice and perhaps reminiscent of what you might find in a full-service hotel, including this little living area that includes a leather ottoman, very nice cloth chair, with that uh, wooden side table by the window and a very attractive floor lamp with some artwork. And as for the work area, you have your obligatory sort of sterile but definitely utilitarian ergonomic office chair which certainly wouldn't be out of place in any Fortune 500 company's office floor. In the drawer at the desk is a book or magazine about towels, which interestingly enough is at least, I think, an hour and a half, if not more, north of here. It's north of Santa Fe which itself is almost an hour north of Albuquerque. The desk, one distinguishing characteristic is that it is, besides being quite sturdy, it's very, very large, as you can see. And then there's this tiny little lamp, which has a somewhat powerful light, but it also has a couple of power outlets. And then you have your guest services directory, which I won't flip through. So there's an ad for some local New Mexico wine, HiltonGardenInn.com pin, but I don't see any paper. And then we, there is a, it's actually a restaurant apparently attached to this hotel, at least that's what they were telling me when I checked in. And indeed, 
they talk about the breakfast. The the uh, the restaurant. The breakfast apparently isn't complimentary as it is in in many of these uh, um, sort of slightly down market or casual brands of uh, the big boys, Marriott, Hyatt, and uh, Hilton. Looks like breakfast costs eleven ninety five. In fact, and is served from six a.m. to ten a.m or 7 to 11 on the weekends. But interestingly, they are also open for dinner starting at 5 p.m. And there's also a bar downstairs. Maybe I'll get some, some footage of that a bit later um, that is open seven days a week from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. But as for in-room dining, which I assume comes from the same restaurant, you can order it from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on a daily basis. There's also a pantry downstairs next to the check-in desk, which of course has uh, all sorts of uh, snacks and other travel amenities. But the room service menu for a non sort of full service hotel certainly has some relatively gourmet and slightly upscale options here. You can get a New York strip steak, a salmon bowl, ribs, Korean style steak bowl, several sandwiches, desserts, children's menu, and they even have a relatively extensive, although it's not particularly wonderful, wine and beer menu. And with respect to the view, remember we're on the top floor, the fourth floor, and we are adjacent to the airport. And I believe this window overlooks a some sort of off-site park and ride facility that serves the Albuquerque International Sunport. Um, across the street is the Sheraton, full-service Sheraton Hotel Albuquerque, which I've often stayed at during this International Balloon Fiesta in the past, which means that uh, just across the street and out of our view is the Village Inn restaurant, which is sort of like a Western-style IHOP or Denny's. Um, so there are options external to the hotel if you wish to dine within walking distance. But we are in New Mexico, so everywhere we look will be mountains and picturesque desert and surrounding this hotel is really no different. <laughs> There's also an indoor pool. And in the exterior of the hotel, there's a little deck area. And there are wicker chairs and a couch where you can lounge. It wouldn't be advisable to do that right now because it's far too wet. And all of the furnishings are drenched. There was a rare rainstorm that ripped through the city of Albuquerque earlier this afternoon. But as you can see, the deck would be a fine place to spend your time. There's even a nice view of downtown Albuquerque. As you look to the right, you can see for miles and miles and miles. 
and tomorrow we're headed somewhere out there to the International Balloon Fiesta. All right, folks, that's all I had for you in this walkthrough of a standard room at the Hilton Garden Inn, Albuquerque Airport. Be sure to tune in next time or subscribe for more Marsh W13 hotel reviews. Until then, bon voyage, happy and safe travels.